So I'm back. I don't know if that stopped me completely. I should have put this on Do Not Disturb. I'm sorry about that, guys. But what your group is for, let me just hop right back in. I'll give you a rundown of what we just did. Stop offending 80% of the people in your group. That'll keep your leaders because they're the ones bringing them in. Stop teaching them things that they will have to become a whole different person to figure out. Make sure that it works and creates results for the people that are not influencers, okay? Not everybody has 5,000 followers and or 10,000, whatever. It's not about that, okay? Um, what does your group stand for? Is it always focused on that hustle, bustle, grind, da 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 and does it really, is it making the people that are there and raising their hands that they want to stay feel like they're not getting anything done? Do not make 80% of the people in your in your organization feel like they're a disappointment. <coughs> I see that all the time. I'm done with it. I hate seeing that. And you know what? It doesn't matter. Everyone's coming from where they're coming from. And you might be a rock star up to this point and then psh, not so much a rock star after that, but you want to stay. You want to build and learn how to become. If you're making people upset for their level of experience and desire you're not going to be able to keep them, okay? This is a... This is a huge thing um, that I see a lot. And, I, you know, now that I've kind of paid more attention to um, people that are doing it right, uh, a lot of organizations will only recognize fast success, okay? People that... They join, and they're doing stuff that nobody even heard of. In 90 days, they're hitting, you know, major, major ranks, and they're bringing in five, ten thousand, fifteen thousand, twenty thousand dollars 15000 $20,000 in no time at all. And you're wondering, what the heck? When people celebrate that, but what that does to the regular person is saying, well, I can't do that. Like, I've been doing this for a year and a half, and I've only got two people and one customer. What that does is demoralizes the people that are moving slower. And the thing that... The thing that you can do if you want to celebrate fast success, which is, I mean, it's wonderful, is you need to make it perfectly clear that that fast success is not as fast as you think it is, okay? I would say 99.9% .9 of the people that look like they've made really big gains I have been doing it for a long, long time and have failed again and again and again and have learned from their failures and keep moving forward. You need to talk about the struggle before you talk about the success. Another thing I see a lot of leaders... Um, messing up is they're not celebrating the slow success. They're not celebrating the person that's been been a customer for six months and decided they wanted to become a um, a business partner and they enrolled their first person, or they got their first customer, or they, you know, showed up for a contest, even if there were no results. Celebrating slow success is much more endearing and much more uh, it's it's got its feet in longevity more than celebrating just fast success you can celebrate it but you got to recognize how long it took famous example of that um lisa torres she was in network marketing for 19 years before she made any money i think it was something like 19 dollars that she had she could point at and say i made that in profit over the last 19 years and then Something broke, something happened, and she started creating income. And now she's creating a lot of income. That's pretty amazing. You know, a lot of people underestimate what they can do for their lives within 10 years. And that's a huge thing. So when, you, when you're celebrating fast success, you know, you know it, let me see. It, it behooves me to explain to you or not incur, or to ask you not to do something like this. Ask me how I recruited 32 people in 48 hours and try to teach your team that or advertise it on Facebook because you're not talking about the 19 years that it took you to get that good. You're not talking about the paid advertising. You're not talking about the list that you've been talking to forever. You're not talking about all of that. You're acting like someone could just brand new into the industry and boom, do something like that. That's that's very deceptive, and that's a pain for our industry. So stop doing that inside your groups as well. 
Stop re recognizing fast success without pointing out how hard it was to get there. Because this is real work, guys. Real ass work. So, another thing that you can do as an inventory of your team is you could ask yourself and take a look. Go ahead and look. Look at your posts and say what percentage of your posts in your team group are about business. What percentage are about business? Are you doing anything motivational? Are you, like today for instance, yeah, I'm still wearing the same clothes. I haven't even taken off my makeup from yesterday. I put my hair up because I'm like, oh my gosh, we've been having some struggles here in the family this past 24 hours. Okay, so I didn't have time for that. Did I stop? Did I stop working? Nope. Um, I knew that I needed to continue. So I'm doing inventory on my group. Am I being human? Am I showing them stuff that I'm doing? Am I... Uh, don't... Rule number one, put it on Do Not Disturb. I don't know what's going on. It's making me crazy. Making me crazy. So are you doing that? So if you're thinking about... So yes, we put up a schedule every day and we offer them a way that they can make their own schedule so they don't have to rely on somebody else showing up to a webinar or anything like that, you know, or getting the webinar shut off. Hello, Curtis. So we show that plus we show whatever schedule is already set up by leadership. Uh, we talk about some incentives that are inside the company. We do stuff like that. We ask questions. Okay, we need, our, our team needs more people stuff. More people stuff. So I'm going to do inventory on that. I would highly recommend that you do it too. You want to keep people around the fire. Don't forget. Um, let's see. Let me see. Make it simpler. Uh, make your group simpler. What is it they actually need to know? They need to know that if they want to proceed in business, that they need to reach out to people. At, talk to humans and see if they're open. That's all. Would it make it simpler for them if they did live videos? Yep. Is if, if they want to know that you should what I do is I always recommend that anyone in my team that wants to become a business builder that they join rank makers. I let Ray do the heavy lifting. That doesn't mean that I don't want to train. I love training. But he always nails it. And I can trust that my team can be in there and learn. Something they can take with them, whether they have the desire of a 15 percenter or of a 5 percenter, whether or not they, you know, aren't sure yet. There are people in rank makers that sit back and watch and do nothing. Is he making them feel bad? No. If anything, a study on how to create culture is in rank makers. Even if you don't listen to the Ray Daily, even if you don't do the action step. It's pretty amazing. So try to make it easier or simpler I'm not going to take away the word easy because simple is definitely what's going on. And don't be an over-mentor. <sighs> That's huge. And I've got caught in that a lot. If somebody... Well, that's going to be for another episode. I don't want to get too far into the over-mentoring. And yes, so that wraps up this live that I'm not sure how many different times it popped up on Facebook. I uh, thank you so much for coming. If you got value from this, go ahead and give it a share. Um, let me know if you implement some stuff. You go into your group, whether you got two or 2,000 and you make some changes. Does it feel better to you already? Um, let me know how that goes. You know, shoot me a message. Let's talk. Let's, let's, I mean, between, between us, we can change the world. And that's what's up. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and eat some more soup. Wash my face, get my stuff together, because it's time to go to mom's. I'll see you all on the other side. Peace.